Okay, let's talk about utilizing our scan tool for further diagnostics. So if I go ahead and hit the diagnose button on my scan tool, I have behind me a Toyota hooked up to it. I can go through and select auto detect. It should find, as long as the VCI and the keys in the on position and the VCI is hooked up properly, it should pull up a screenshot here for me that's going to not only read the VIN, but also tell me the type of vehicle it is. Now I have the option from the previous screen of scrolling down and manually selecting the car. So I could manually select that it's a Toyota and the make and model and the year and all that kind of stuff. But this is a little shortcut. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and select diagnostics. I'm gonna let it load its data that it needs to load here. It's going to ask me a question. I'm gonna select the 16 pin DLC North American selection. I'll let it have a chance to communicate. And once it actually connects, it asks me if it needs any more further information as to whether or not it has a smart key or without. This particular vehicle we're working on definitely has a smart key. It comes up, gives me a little check screen here of everything I wanna know. I'm gonna say, okay. It's gonna give me one last little notice that says, hey, if for some reason we can't communicate, make sure we prompted all those correct answers when it asked me questions. I'm gonna say okay. And it's gonna to start to interface, in this case, the OBD2 system for Toyota. Now, when you go to a specific car line, the very first screen that comes up, which is something that very few scan tools do at this point, is called a topology screen. And the topology screen is invaluable as a technician to be able to diagnose any type of data bus communication type of faults. So right now I can go in and I can bypass this screen 100% or I can let it do its thing. And what it's gonna do as I do this, so I'm gonna say system scan, you'll notice that it's starting to talk to each one of the modules on the network. It will tell you, it'll list out on the screen all the available modules for this particular vehicle, and the ones it can talk to will actually change colors. And if there's a problem, if the vehicle supports a module, so it actually has it installed on the vehicle, but it's not able to communicate with it, it's gonna give us indications that there's a problem with that, with that version of the data bus communications. So I'm gonna let it do its thing, but while it's doing it, you're gonna notice there's quite a few modules available on this particular car. Now, notice that it's got a little key on the top of the screen here. Green means it's normal, red means it's abnormal, blue means it has been scanned. If it still is white in color, that means it has not been scanned. And if it's ghosted out, it means that it's not equipped. Notice that we also have color codings of the actual lines here that tells me what the data bus protocol happens to be. So in this case, red is K-line data bus, blue is CAN1 data bus, and green is CAN2 data bus. Be sure to use the topology screen when you get a U or a network series type of trouble code. This can save you a lot of time to help you diagnose whether or not the module itself can actually be communicated with.